we will use some basic mathematical concepts to analyze expected utility. I will briefly review these concepts here. Exponentiation is a mathematical operation where a number is multiplied by itself a certain number of times. Exponentiation is written as f of x equals x to the power of a. That is, x is multiplied by itself a times. For example, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 2, times 2, times 2 is equal to 8. The exponent a can be any real number, including fractions and negative numbers. For example, a plot of the function f of x equals x to the power of 0.5 is shown here. The exponential function is written as f of x equals e to the power of x. The letter e is a constant, approximately equal to 2.71828. It is a special case of exponentiation where the base is e, which is multiplied by itself x times. A plot of the exponential function is shown here. The logarithmic function is written as f of x equals ln x, or log to the base e of x. The logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function. That is, if f of x equals e to the power of x, then x equals ln f of x. A plot of the logarithmic function is shown here. Note that the logarithmic function is only defined for positive values of x. The logarithm of 0 is undefined. Differentiation is a mathematical operation that finds the rate of change, or slope, of a function. It is written as d on dx, f of x, or dy on dx, or f prime x. There are several simple rules to differentiate a function. The rules relevant to these notes are as follows. The derivative of a constant is 0. d, dx, c, equals 0. The derivative of an exponentiation is d, dx, x to the power of a, equals ax to the power of a minus 1. For example, d, dx, x squared equals 2x. You can see from this that for any value of x greater than 0, the derivative of x squared is greater than 0, signifying that the function f of x equals x squared is increasing and has positive slope. For any value of x less than 0, the derivative is less than 0, signifying that the function is decreasing and has negative slope. As another example, d, dx, x to the power of 0.5 is equal to 0.5, times x to the power of minus 0.5. You can see from this that for any value of x greater than 0, the derivative of x to the power of 0.5 is greater than 0, signifying that the function f of x equals x to the power of 0.5 is increasing and has positive slope. The function is not defined for x less than 0. You can see that x to the power of 0.5 is increasing and has positive slope when x is greater than 0 in this plot. The derivative of the logarithmic function is d, dx, ln x equals 1 on x. This derivative is positive for all values of x for which ln x is defined. Therefore ln x is increasing in x. You can see that ln x is increasing for all values for which ln x is defined in this plot. The derivative of a fraction is d, dx, 1 on f of x equals negative f prime x, on f of x squared. For example, d, dx, 1 on x equals minus 1 on x squared. Where you have a function 1 on x to the power of a, it is often easier to write it as x to the power of negative a and use the rule for exponentiation. For example, d, dx, 1 on x, equals d, dx, x to the power of minus 1, equals minus 1 x to the power of minus 2, equals minus 1 on x squared. The second derivative of the function is a measure of the curvature of the function or the rate of change of the slope. We can calculate the second derivative by taking the derivative of the first derivative. 
we can use the second derivative to determine whether a function is concave or convex. A function is concave if the second derivative is negative, and convex if the second derivative is positive. The second derivative of a function is written as d squared, dx squared, f of x, or d squared y, dx squared, or f double prime x. For example, if f of x equals x squared, then d squared, dx squared, x squared equals d, dx, 2x, equals 2. The second derivative is positive, equal to 2, for all values of x. This implies that f of x equals x squared is increasing at an increasing rate. The function is convex. The second derivative of x to the power of 0.5 is d squared, dx squared, x to the power of 0.5 equals d, dx, 0.5 times x to the power of minus 0.5 is equal to minus 0.25 times x to the power of minus 1.5. The second derivative is negative for all values of x for which x to the power of 0.5 is defined. This implies that x to the power of 0.5 is increasing at a decreasing rate. The function is concave. You can see x to the power of 0.5 is increasing at a decreasing rate in this plot. The second derivative of the logarithmic function is d squared, dx squared, ln, x, equals d, dx, 1 on x, equals minus 1 on x squared. This second derivative is negative for all values of x for which ln x is defined. This implies that ln x is increasing at a decreasing rate. The function is concave. You can see that ln x is increasing at a decreasing rate in this plot. When working through these notes, you will not be asked to differentiate any functions. However, understanding what differentiation is and what it shows will help you understand the intuition behind the concepts I discuss. I will use the functions f of x equals ln x and f of x equals x to the power of 0.5 in future videos.